everyone, we're here at the Blockchain Summit in Dubai on the 27th of November and we're interviewing Imran Sarwar, who is Senior Enterprise Architect and Innovation Leader at Dubai Customs. So, Imran, uh, what has been the highlight of the Blockchain Summit for you today? Well, it, has, it, it has been an exciting event. For, for me, and I met a lot of uh, technology leaders, leaders from the government. Uh, the event has been uh, very good, very informative, and we, we shared a lot of ideas together. We, we shared our experiences about you know, how we are using blockchain and what it is not. Basically, it has been a mix of both the, the knowledge session and, and the knowledge awareness and the experience uh, 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 of, 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 of our use cases as such. So it has been a great uh, event so far. Okay, so uh, we know that Dubai is implementing blockchain and you are uh, pretty much uh, aware of what's happening on this front. So can you give us a little bit of highlights of what uh, uh, the, the use cases have been and what the implementation, what's the stage of implementation is so far? Uh, well, the uh, the ruler of Dubai is uh, Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, launched blockchain strategy uh, recently in this year, and this has given most of the uh, of the leaders of the government departments a go ahead uh, to start their initiative in blockchain domain. Um, so we have now a mandate that we have to do at least 50% of our transactions, government transactions that are applicable for blockchain uh, by 2022. Uh, it's, a, it's a great goal. Uh, we'll try to achieve it. And we are collaborating with different government entities on a, on a platform which is common, smart, by they are regulating us as such, they have provided a platform on which all the government entities can come together and discuss their use cases. So as part of that, we identified around you know, two dozens of use cases which are applicable across different entities, like uh, Dubai Police, for example. Uh, um, they, they are looking at a use case which will allow uh, your legal documents, your, uh, your, you know, like uh, your police reports and these kind of things, uh, criminal cases, information on blockchain. Similarly, Dubai Customs is looking at a use case which is uh, covering the whole trade supply chain. We are integrating and collaborating with RTA for, uh, for let's say, people registration records. Land registration record is something which uh, uh, the Bay Land Department is looking at. So we have like uh, seven, eight entities uh, that are directly dealing with citizens working in the blockchain space. Uh, uh, we are right now, some of the use cases are in ideation and conceptualization phase. Some are at the pilot stage. Um, the reason we are we are doing experiment as of now because the technology itself is new for us. It's nice and the, the skill set around um, uh, this technology is also something which is which is not very common. So we have our challenges, but the uh, the good thing about Dubai is that we have the full go ahead, full yes from the rulers, from the leaders of the uh, of the country. And what have been the successes so far? Maybe just tell us about the successes in particular. Yeah, the success is that we have now developed a common consensus as to what blockchain can do for us and the success is uh, uh, now that we have learned how to measure and how to define the business value first because it's not about implementing the technology it's about how we utilize the technology for delivering value to the citizens so the first thing we did was to create a, a platform where we can learn we can understand and develop a common definition of a blockchain. So that has been successfully done. Now when we when we go to any forum to discuss the ideas, everyone speaks the same language, which is extremely important for the success of any adoption of technology. Uh, we have defined the use cases and we can at least measure, uh, define the KPIs through which we will 
measure. Uh, since we are in a pilot phase, uh, we cannot say as such that there is a success story as of now. But we are very confident that we will be successful in implementing these use cases. One of the pilot is uh, uh, Dubai Land Department that they have now land records, they are moving land, land records on blockchain now. Uh, similarly, uh, we are using it for the payment reconciliation because whenever you go and pay for any uh, Dubai government service, uh, the payment reconciliation as for the service delivery has to be reconciled with the, with the authority that actually delivered the service. So this has been successful so far, but this is something which is not as such directly visible for the public or, or the citizens. And uh, Dubai Customs, you're leading, uh, you're the head of Dubai Customs, you're leading of the innovation lab, so you experimenting with cutting edge technologies such as blockchain, but also IoT and artificial intelligence. So which technologies or which combination of technologies do you see as most promising for the next five to ten years to come? Well, I believe the uh, for the success you have to come up with a recipe. So it will be a mix of technologies. Uh, uh, as per my experience so far, even with the blockchain, it is a technology that is still being developed. Uh, there are some challenges related to scalability, there are some challenges uh, related to the uh, environment as such overall. So, uh, it, will be, it is going to be um, a network of different technologies where you have artificial intelligence built into the smart contracts. Uh, and, and data coming in from uh, your IoT wearable devices and your sensors stored across the city. Uh, so what I can think of is a smart city eventually for, for the overall success uh, where things are connected, societies are connected with each other and they are working in harmony, they are sharing information, they are sharing data and all of this resulting in a multi-stakeholder municipality based uh, relationship with citizens. That's, that's really, really interesting uh, what you've just said. And uh, so given your experience, such substantial experience in implementing, experimenting with blockchains, what would be your advice to those enterprises that are trying to implement it? I know it's a struggle, it's uh, the technology, as you said, is still new. But what is, what is some advice that you could give to these enterprises? Uh, well, the first advice uh, and, and the foremost is that you need to understand blockchain. You should not be just going for implementing blockchain. It should be uh, looked at from the business value. It should be looked at the value proposition it can bring. And uh, you also need to engage your uh, stakeholders early on. Um, the parties, the business network, blockchain uh, implementing alone is not going to be successful. So you need to engage with your stakeholders, you need to talk to them, bring them on board, look at the feasibility, the viability and desirability of all the partners that are, that are going to participate in the blockchain. Uh, another thing to look for is the, uh, is the required policies changes, the strategy changes within the organization that you uh, that you have to uh, change maybe or that are getting impacted due to the, 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 the implementation of blockchain. Blockchain is a great technology if done right. Uh, you can rethink your processes, you can, you have to transform them to, uh, to achieve the value uh, for your business. So you need to sit down, define what blockchain is, understand, develop a common understanding, and then identify the use cases, uh, run them through a blockchain assessment framework. There are many good frameworks outside uh, uh, from the industry, from the academia, that you can use to, uh, to assess whether the, the, the given use case is a fit for blockchain or not. The second is that you, you need to do a POC first. 
So you do a small proof of concept, identify the technologies, which technology will suit you. you should, should you build it on Ethereum, should you build it on Hyperledger, or should you build it on some other proprietary blockchain framework. Um, and once you are once you're done with the PUC, you will have the two feedback. Uh, you will have the feedback from your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. The second stage after this should be that you, you do your pilot. You change your business model accordingly. Uh, and with a small pilot, you will be you will be identifying whether it was successful with a with a focused uh, group of uh, users, uh, customers, and all. And if that is successful, then go. Uh, uh, then go big bang. You know, you can roll it out to uh, your other uh, areas, other segments. Thank you, Ram, for your time. Thank you so much, and I'm sure that our community will benefit from your insights as an expert in the blockchain technology space. Thank you very much for having me.